new developments tonight in the search for a missing mom from Clarkston. Rachel Anderson hasn't been seen since April 16th. Tonight, her estranged husband is under arrest on an unrelated charge. And while no one is calling him a suspect in her disappearance, we're learning more about their past. KXLY 4's Annie Bishop is here with the story, Annie. And we didn't know until court records were filed this morning, but Rachel Anderson was going through a divorce and two men came forward after she went missing to give police important clues as to what may have happened to her. We're also learning late this evening that Clarkston police say Capone was the last person to see her alive. Charles Capone was arrested by the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms this morning. He has a history of assault and bank robbery and according to court records, a history of abusing Rachel Anderson. Anderson and Capone had only been married a few months when she told police in January he tried to strangle her. She filed for divorce five days later. After she disappeared, a man came forward and told police he sold a gun to Charles Capone. Another man told police Capone had been staying with him and that Capone often drove to Lewiston to follow his wife and see if she was dating someone else. Police searched Capone's business in Moscow and found the gun. That's where they arrested him on the federal charge this morning. Capone will make his first court appearance on these charges tomorrow in Coeur d'Alene. Anderson's daughter says she had a bad feeling about Capone since he started dating her mom. She's hopeful Capone will open up to investigators so she can find out what happened to her mom. Reporting live, Annie Bishop, KXLY4 HD News.